we actually have not done this yet in the West. So the US did do experiments with thorium, but it was ultimately shut down in favor of a different project, which then ultimately failed. The closest startup right now to this that I'm aware of is called Copenhagen Atomics, and they are about to do a test next year in 2026 in Switzerland. They will literally be bringing a full-scale prototype down to Switzerland to the Paul Scherer Institute, and this will be the first ever test done in Europe. I can read you a little bit about what I wrote down in my notes for Copenhagen Atomics. Their SMRs operate at atmospheric pressure, so there's no risk of a high-pressure steam explosion. And the way that they design their SMRs, it includes frozen plugs at the bottom, so if the system overheats, the plug melts and gravity drains the molten salt, which prevents a meltdown, and that means walk away safety. The good thing about thorium is that the nuclear waste is easier to handle than with uranium. Thorium reactors can also burn legacy waste, which means they can be recycled. According to the startup, the biggest challenge that they're facing right now is actually regulatory and dealing with paperwork. There are a lot of licenses and approvals that go into this process.